Okay. Good morning, everyone. I am very happy, as you can tell. <laughs> this is our first live session in Fusion. And live session means your room of live sessions is not just me doing a live. It's bigger than that. It's um, a room in Fusion created just for live sessions like this, where women who are passionate about a topic can come and tell the rest of the women who are attendees and would like to listen about, uh, to, about that, that topic, come and listen to it. So today um, I set a topic that is dear to my heart is um, how to learn, how, what is the, the most effective way to learn. And um, before that, I just want to give some points of organization. Uh, we, uh, the session will be 15 to 20 minutes, and I will reserve 10 to 15 minutes for chat. And uh, Mike, maybe Mike, I don't know how to do it in um, Instagram Live, but I will do it in Zoom if someone wants to speak. Uh, uh, other than that, we can uh, I can read the chat, and uh, I will um, do my best to address the written questions. Okay. Thank you so much, Instagram followers, for following us today. I am excited about all the names that pop up in there. It has been a while now that we are in contact and to the point that I know some of you right now, even though we have so many, I know some people that have been with us and interactive with us and we are very blessed and fortunate and grateful for all that. Okay, um, I would like um, uh, to talk about effective learning. Why? Because it touches a lot of things, especially, and I will cater it and customize it to women. Uh, but um, first of all, there are there's big um, movement that says that universities are obsolete and uh, you can get your learning from online, from on demand, from all that. And I follow that and I, I'm listening. I keep an open mind to all the, the ideas because they may make sense. Um, before I delve into that, into all the uh, current topics about learning, I would like to um, talk about myself a little, but quickly. Uh, my name is Khadija Khartit, for the people who can pronounce the Kh, and it's Khadija Khartit for uh, the US where I live, and for the people and the women who cannot pronounce the Kh. Okay, so, and uh, I am pleased to meet all of you today. So um, my, my journey was uh, very long. I'm a very long life learner. I did um, uh, my bachelor's, two master's. I did the CFA exams. I am learning every day. I'm not taking classes per se, even though I am taking some current certifications, but um, I am reading and uh, uh, reviewing articles and teaching that's my way of staying learning all the time and I enjoy it in that journey I learned some things and they did something that were right and some things that were not so right and I learned after that so I'm going to share my learning with you uh, I was in Morocco and the first language was the Arabic then we switched in higher education to French and then, um, and then I realized I was reading management because that's my field and business. And then I realized what I, I read some books of Peter Drucker and they, they make so much sense to me. They excite me. I always look for something exciting to learn because if I'm not excited, I'm not going to do well. So that's my first lesson to you. Be excited. If you feel excited, that's where you want to be. So I was excited. And then I said, okay, my English is very limited. Let's get to that. Why would I lo look at translated books? Let's just get learn this language and get the things from the original uh, version of the books. So that I did that on my own. I mean, the whole, my group, everybody who knows me, they, uh, who studied with me, very few um, others did the same, but my intuition gave me that I think it's better to, to go to the source. And I did that, I <laughs> improved improved my 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 English and I just got the, the books as they were written and then I started learning from there I was exposed to the Fulbright scholarship I was exposed to so many things thanks to that language and to my curiosity of course and my pursuit of expanding myself done with me uh, right now I am teaching 
after a long career in multinational companies, did a lot of training in corporate and now uh, investment banking. And uh, now I am uh, back. Uh, I call it giving back, but I'm taking also because when you give, you take. Um, uh, teaching in at um, te teaching at Cornell, teaching at Brandeis, I really enjoy that because I'm not scripted. I am never scripted. I just go, whatever I learned this week, I'm gonna talk about it in the class if it's relevant to the learning. And I always share my own experience so that the, the students or the learners learn from that. Um, in, in, within that, I'm sharing some of those pieces with you, uh, is that um, universities are not dead because people need formal um, uh, education uh, regular people, not the geniuses. Geniuses are there, they can do it on their own and it's fine and it's great, okay? If you feel you are a genius, go ahead, do it on your own. Everything is out there. Now it's a blessed um, envi environment. Anywhere you are in the world, you can access knowledge and then um, affordably. And you can connect with the uh, brains of the world virtually if they feel that you have the fire, they're gonna give you their time. So if you are that type, go ahead, connect with them, best in mind in your field and they're gonna guide you, that's your mentor. If you insist, they're gonna feel it, they're gonna help you. If you are uh, the, uh, the regular people who need uh, formal education to specialize, to grow in their field, universities are there for you, but they're not enough, they're not enough. I have to stress that. I teach in universities and uh, I always uh, advise that you take a piece from this, the course that's recorded, you take a piece from me, from the exchange that we do, and you take all the hints that I give you and go to Google and make Google your friend and reach out to everything that we said, platforms, read read everyday articles, books on, on that topic, connect with the people that are active in that topic. Why? Because the fields are very dynamic. You cannot be a business person like me and you stay bright if you're not reading because things get very old. Whatever you know as, <laughs> as like established knowledge is not uh, uh, like uh, uh, practical. It will not take you far if you're not adding to it every day and making it in context, adding to it cases, looking at what's going on in the market, all that. And that's, that's valid in every field, even medical, scientific, all that, everything. Even the things that we think are the most pure and uh, exact, they are also subject to dynamic thinking every day. Uh, scientists rely on reviews of others all the time to keep updated. So whatever you do, I, I highly recommend, and it's part of your learning to add to it what's going on. And there is a word now, social learning. You exchange with the people in your field, in the forums where the discussion is ongoing and you hear what they say, they will recommend books, people, ideas, channel, platforms, take notes, to take notes and go to those and have the discipline to go back. One, one, another point, very important, discipline for women. Um, I read the comments that we get from the followers on Instagram, our learners on the Fusion Learn, and I read the uh, questionnaires when we send them. One of the recurrent answers we get is that, yes, I signed up to Fusion Learn and the courses are free and there are 350 courses of digital skills and corporate learning, which is uh, like costly type of learning. But they said, I am too busy. I signed up and I never got back. I understand that because I'm a woman also, I have family, I'm, I'm busy. But you can't grow if you don't reserve time for your growth learning wise okay so for that reason you cannot i i am sorry i understand the pressure of time but i understand also the necessity of learning every day or every week if you can't do it every day okay so for that i i insist for women to schedule their week and reserve quiet time for their learning, be it with Fusion or, or somebody else, but you need to um, have it as like a must to be done uh, so that you grow. Okay, let's go back to on-demand learning and start from the finish line, which is the, the title of our 
uh, call today. Um, if you want to be um, an attorney, uh, you need to go to um, like uh, maybe an advice platform that advises about how to get there. You need to start from there, which is the finish line, and then work backward. Like for me, give example, I, I was in finance, but I felt that finance started to become old school and um, sounded sounded like, you know, like the old, um, old industries and it's not good. It's not good for pay. It's not good for recruiting. It's not good for career, especially if you are like me, like self-employed and trying to do your things on your own. You need to update yourself and everyone needs to update themselves now in the era of digital AI, the, the data, big data, quant, quantum computing. I'm going to tell you things that are affecting every field, okay? Um, digital marketing, all these that I just mentioned are affecting every field, no matter what, what you do. Uh, so in that era, you need to go and see what will make you a better that, that X that you are. Like for me, what will make me a better finance person? For the person in science, a better scientist, a better um, journalist, a better uh, technical writer. Um, and then you, you're, you, when you follow those that are making it big or the platform where people are talking, you're going to find those skills. You will find tips about how to market yourself and brand yourself as a person and professional. You will find ways how to do better digital marketing in cheap way or optimized way. You will find um, tools like me today. I'm not very comfortable with like talking like this <laughs> in two screens. I have my Zoom here and I have my live session on Instagram, but I, I am doing it. I'm enjoying it actually. And um, I, I, next time I'm going to be better. And I will reach out to you, which is not possible for me without these tools. So think what you want to accomplish and find the skills that will allow you to accomplish that end, end goal, okay? Which is for me, reaching out to you and speak to you today, what I know and what I cherish, okay? So, um, so the, the, the advice that I'm going to tell you is that, and also another, another tip from the end, end goal is like, how is an attorney will become very competitive in 10 years? I would say AI. They need to look at AI. They need to look at smart contracts for me as looking like uh, from outside. And um, they need to know um, virtual, maybe metaverse, may, you know, all that thing will have impact their industry. Same for you. Think about how your job will change in the future and what type of skills you need to prepare today so that in 10 years or in five years or two years, you're going to be valuable and more valuable than someone who did not update themselves. Based on my experience, I'm going to give you an example. I am in fintech, okay, financial technology. In startups, we need compliance and regula re regulation people to advise and to, to help in the design of products, fintech products. In my experience during the five last year, we, we had a hard time finding people like those, okay? Because the compliance, the regulation people, the attorney, not many of them realize that they need to transition or specialize in this area, which is digital assets area, cryptocurrency, fintech, um, smart contracts, NFT, all the uh, Web3, all those things that are impacting um, the financial sector, okay? But then uh, I will, what's the consequence? Uh, startups, uh, the market is not well served because there are not many. The few that are out there are very expensive and busy. And because it's brain work, they cannot scale themselves. So it's like that, you know, they're, they're benefiting because they're paid more because they're few and competitive and rare in the market. But the market is not served well because they need so many of them. Um, and uh, another example with scarcity, people that are short in the market are AI, artificial intelligence experts. There are not many. Cybersecurity experts, there are not many. Data scientists, deep ones are not many. So I'm just giving you from the, the universe that I know in technology. And I am sure in doctor, there are 
AI now is affecting uh, medical sector and healthcare. So doctors, in fact, I know uh, a doctor who went into deep medicine. I forgot his name right now, but he's one of the visible one, prominent one, because he did that. That's what made him more known than the other doctors in his specialty. So my advice, get this um, intelligence, use it, go, go to what you want to achieve. Uh, if you are junior, I uh, advise, advise you to look and try to narrow down your choices and then do the same. Go to the end goal. Look at the example that excites you and then work backwards to see what type of learning you want to do. And I'm not talking about college here. College is like the foundation. I'm talking about on demand. Do you want to take digital courses, uh, di di like digital marketing? Do you want to take data science? Do you want to take um, uh, artificial in intelligence, machine learning, um, uh, design, design actually, design, I, I remember now. Uh, design uh, for me is um, a basic literacy need right now, in addition to finance. I think financial literacy and design and using uh, computer, not not coding or, but using um, uh, platforms and um, connecting, signing up, all that things that everybody needs to use tools. These should become basic literacy. What means everybody needs to have like writing, reading, and math. That's that has been forever a basic literacy. Now we need to add financial literacy just to know how to do your math and know your money. Uh, you need to know design, how to design and package your work. Any work needs to be packaged and communicated and design helps you to do that. So, and especially when you deliver it uh, online, digitally, uh, you have to, nobody is um, exempt from that skill. Um, talking about, um, yeah, I think I, 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 I lost the point that I wanted to say about, um, the this these skills one second i'm trying to recall it back it's gonna come yeah so for for that in fact fusion um gave priority uh to uh, digital skills and corporate training because we think that the majority of people and need that so we thought that with that at least we're gonna reach a lot of women we are new uh, our budget is limited. Also, our reach is limited. So, no matter how diverse your backgrounds are, it is you will find something you need in the courses we have right now because they are so basic in our opinion, basic for the future. So, there is a word that I find that I like um, that I, in fact, uh, future friendly. There are future friendly skills, and those are the ones that we are trying to bring to fusion. We're going to work hard and we're relying on you also to tell us which are these, in your opinion, from your world, okay? Um, yeah, and I found the point. The point is writing. Writing is another skill now that becomes, um, how do you call that, like mandatory for everybody because everybody needs to express their opinion about their work as a professional. And to, not just to the uh, like small circle, to your client, to your supervisor or, or colleagues, you need also to express yourself on LinkedIn, Twitter, um, Facebook, wherever you share your ideas as a professional. You need to write. So this one becomes, becomes necessary. It hasn't been uh, like uh, 20 years ago, I didn't need to write. I, if, I am, if I am a finance professional, I will do my finance. But now it's not enough because everybody has to brand themselves for future jobs, for uh, growing, for if you want to branch out to self-employed, if you want to become an entrepreneur, if you want to be a successful, uh, uh, you have a successful career, you need to, to, uh, to, to speak about yourself. You need um, to branch beyond your company and your close uh, encounters and people that met you in person. Okay, so writing, in my opinion, becomes very big. Uh, in Fusion, we are thinking we're going to add a lot of English um, uh, uh, teaching as verbal expression, as writing expression, as basic, as professional, as specialized even. Because we feel that the women of the world, I am one of the, those women of the world. I, um, I come from Morocco, as I told you, I talked about uh, the languages. I talked about, I will talk about my immigration. When I, uh, and I know how much uh, it took me, and I'm still uh, doing it, 
to upgrade my expression in what I think. And I think a lot. I just need to deliver it well out, you know, with my tongue. So um, we want to help women to express themselves in English first. We are hoping that we will be good enough to expand to other languages. But for now, we are English-based platform, and we want to help the women of the world to speak good English, write good English, express their ideas in their fields and specialties with this tool as a communication, but deep, not just the shallow uh, type of communication. OK, so I am up to the mark with the 21 minutes. I'm trying to be disciplined. Usually I go overboard. So if you have any questions for me, I'm here and I will be reading. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I see, but please forgive me. I'm not so great at this. I, if you're right, I'm gonna do this and try to, on Instagram, I'm gonna see if uh, I have any question uh, and I will answer if, um, if, it's here. So, and also I see something here. I don't know if I have questions here. Yeah, Yara, I see. Hi, Muhammad. How are you? Hi, Ali. How are you doing? Uh, one thing that I want to say, I was excited to see you signing up for this uh, call because we want more men in these meetings. Um, my goal is not just the men listening to the skills. My goal really is beyond. Uh, we want we are here to advocate for women, to enable women to learn, to enable women to be higher, uh, high, highly skilled and upgrade themselves in skills in skill, and, and in life. But also we want to share these messages of hope, of growth with the men in their lives. In fact, at some point, if we are lucky and we have enough traffic and enough uh, love from our audience, we want to invite their fathers, brothers, sons, husbands to come to some sessions catered to the um, loved ones of women. We want to tell them how we feel, what do we want to do, what makes us happy, what makes us feel fulfilled, why, why, and why, why are we doing that? Because they want us to be happy, I'm sure. They just, do, we don't express that enough. And we wanna expl explain the challenges so that the women, the, the men in the lives of these women are more understanding when the woman sits and do her, her classes or her life sessions like this, or do any of her uh, wellness, well-being, uh, self-love, as we call it in, on Instagram, like take care of herself. They, they will be aware and accepting that that woman needs that for a better life. It's good for them if she is happy, if she is fulfilled and she's uh, th thriving, that reflects to all her life and including her kids, her father and her brothers or oh, everybody. Everybody will benefit from uh, a happy woman, um, augmented women who, who can do more uh, with positive emotions. That's my, my feeling about it. So please validate or invalidate. <laughs> Okay, still, still uh, looking, looking for questions. Okay, just I see, totally agree. Yeah, do you have any questions for me? Shoot. Thank you so much. I see the waves, I see the, thank you so much for the support. And we're gonna make it short. And uh, I promise you, I'm gonna make myself disciplined too so that I can connect with you very often, okay? Another thing, announcement. Not only me will be in these live sessions. I have many experts lined up, women. I will also invite men. Uh, any expert who can share some valuable thoughts will come here and uh, talk to you. So stay tuned and uh, be excited about the next topics. Also be feeding us new topics that you care about and we will do our best to get you some experts that know about it and passionate like me about it, okay? Thank you so much, ladies. Uh, I enjoyed this session. I think I felt better than the last sessions and uh, I will feel better, even better next time, okay? With love, bye-bye, be well, stay safe, bye-bye. Thank you.